grand tourers gorgeous design big engines up front mile munching capability gorgeous interiors that's a thing that's really sought after in the luxury market especially in europe but in india we don't have those roads so our way of having a grand tourer needed to change a little bit so we have a little bit of a modification and change in the name of grand tourer and what we usually use is this the innova So we are sitting in the old previous generation in Nova and as you can see it's not a bad place to be this is very roomy quite a lot of space you got place to seat seven people or if you are a villager crazy villager that drives an intercity taxi you can fit your entire your entire village and maybe your cattle as well so in the Krista the design element has changed it looks a lot like a baby Lexus to be completely honest and the plastics and all have taken a little bit of an upgrade but they don't they still feel quite not 28 lakhs they still feel like plastic and cheap leather apart from that the interior is very roomy very fancy It looks really nice in the krista you would be spending most of your time here I suppose because I'm sure you are one of these avant-garde high class individuals that need your space and room. So the Krista is actually pretty helpful. It it looks like a private jet in the back. You've got mood lighting everywhere. You've got your own climate controls. You've got really comfortable comfortable seats. And you also get a little tray that helps you Hold your little sparkling water and your croissant or your line of coke. Moving on, the back seat. Follow me if you please. So your two little kids can roam around over here. It's quite quite helpful. Um, quite a lot of. cubby holes in the back as well i do not see a power socket but it's actually quite comfortable the more there's quite enough leg room for a decent sized kid and apart from that you got climate controls as well and uh, no lighting in the rear which i think is a little necessary The luxury is well complemented with practical spaces and compartments everywhere including a cool glove box. The infotainment system also gets a tiny OS refreshment and some features like sat nav but the system still kind of laggy and also it misses out on Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So the new Vista has been overhauled in terms of design from the inside and the outside. So when we start from the outside we start from the front The front the grill has changed into this dual tone black and chrome cascading grill with a really really big Toyota sign. You've got a uh, projector headlamps on the front. Everything is just made sharper compared to the other previous generation. When you come to the side, the profile of the tires has decreased and you've gotten bigger wheels. Now now they are 17 inches. uh everything is sharper on the side you get a new roof line and when you come to the back the tail lights have been revamped and um it looks very monotonous for me so driving the nova crista well uh For starters this has a 2.8 liter four cylinder diesel mated to an 
six speed automatic gearbox which has around 180 horses and 340 odd newton meters of torque that all has been given to compensate for the massive amount of weight that this car carries it does feel heavy on the corners the body rolls everywhere no matter what you try to do and um, the engine is actually very well refined really punchy very good but i am not very happy with the gearbox the transmission feels slow thing is it doesn't know if it should go up or if it should go down whenever and even if you put it in manual it's gonna take around a good one one and a half seconds to like change yeah and throttle response is um on the number side brakes have a lot of bite but the pedal itself has no feedback the pedal feels very sensitive but i don't know what's going on hi so we are sitting inside the innova and i'm at the back seat driven by mr soham saraf hello and i not gonna lie i feel like a little king a bit like a king it's very very comfortable the seats are amazing you can adjust the, the knee room you can adjust the rake of it so apart from it being an mpv it does feel a lot like you can spend a lot of time over here apart from that the mood lighting also looks gorgeous if you can see it we're quite in a there's quite a lot of daylight but the mood lighting looks really really nice i have my own private uh climate control for the rear seats there are uh, a few cubby holes here there's a really 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 ingeniously built cup holders down here which look really really nice All in all, I do think the Novas are Grand Tourers, but only for India. And I also think that Grand Touring has different perceptions all over the world, and that's why everybody would argue that this is not a Grand Tourer, this is an MPV. But for the purpose that it serves in India, this is the best Grand Tourer in India. Apart from that, I think that 28 lakhs for a top model is quite a lot of money. But if you want all the bells and whistles, that's the price you gotta pay. And if you do want all the functionalities of the Innova, I think you should not get the top model and just save up some money. Apart from that, do you really think this is a this car is worth 28 lakhs? Please do let us know in the comment section below. And while you're already down there, please do like the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you did really like it that much, please do share it. It would mean the world to us. This is Bhavneet signing out.